Let's soak ourselves, marinate ourselves in some Bible verses. The early Christians were known for their generosity. The book of Acts says that there was not a needy person among them. And listen to this in 2 Corinthians chapter 8. This is what it says. And now, brothers and sisters, the Apostle Paul writes, we want you to know about the grace that God has given the churches in Greece. In the midst of a very severe trial, in the midst of a very severe trial, it's worth repeating, isn't it? Like a pandemic. Um, their overflowing joy and their extreme poverty, extreme poverty welled up to rich generosity. Extreme poverty is not the opposite of generosity. Generosity is not to do with the amount someone gives. Next slide. For I testify that they gave as much as they were able and even beyond their ability, entirely on their own. They urgently pleaded with us for the privilege of sharing in this service of the Lord's people. Being generous also involves essentially imitating God. Listen to what Jesus says. Jesus says this, next slide. You have heard that it was said, an eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth. That's how people operate, isn't it? I'll only get, I'll, you know, we get even when someone does us wrong. Or we'll only give to someone who's given to us. Proportionality. That's how the world operates. Tit for tat. But Jesus, that's the same what he's saying. You've heard it said, but I say to you, do not resist the one who's evil. If anyone slaps you on the right cheek, turn to him the other also. Next slide. And if anyone would sue you, and take your tunic, let him have your cloak as well. And if anyone forces you to go one mile, go with him two miles. Give to the one who begs from you, and do not refuse the one who would borrow from you. He's talking about generosity in the way that we behave. Next slide. You have heard that it was said, you shall love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I say to you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you. This is generosity. So that, and here it is, you may be sons or daughters of your Father who is in heaven. Four, he makes his, he, God, makes his son rise on the evil and on the good. And he sends rain on the just and on the unjust. Although mainly on the just, because the unjust steal the just's umbrella. But that's a different point. Imitate your father who is rich in his generosity, who shows kindness to all. That's what we're called to. You want to be like God, Jesus says? Give to people who don't deserve it. Generosity is the heartbeat of Christianity. As we mentioned last week in John 14, Jesus says, In my Father's house are many rooms. I'm going to prepare a place for you so you can come to where I am. Generously offers that to us. John 15, verse 15 to 16, Jesus says this, No longer do I call you servants, for a servant doesn't know what his master's doing, but I've called you friends for all that I've heard from my Father, I've made known to you. Jesus is generous with the will of God and revelation about what everything I heard from my Father, I've made known to you. He's not like, I've just told you what you needed to get the job done. Jesus says, you did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you that you should go and bear fruit. Generosity again. Next one, Titus 3. When the goodness and loving kindness of God our Savior appeared, he saved us. Not because of works done by us in righteousness, but according to his own mercy. By the washing of regeneration and renewal of the Holy Spirit, whom he poured out on us generously through Jesus Christ, our Saviour. And then lastly, James 1 verse 5. If anyone lacks wisdom, you should ask God, who gives generously to all without finding fault, and it will be given to you. God is rich in mercy. Psalm 23 says he is pursuing people pursuing us with goodness and mercy. He says, surely goodness and mercy will follow me all the days of my life. And then the crest on the wave of God's generosity, as we've said, it's James 1 verse 17, every good and perfect gift comes from the Father of the heavenly lights. Christianity is essentially a movement of generosity. The early church was known for being people who, A, had been with Jesus, and therefore, B, shared all they had in common. 